Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for checking out my video. G major warm-up. I'm going to orient the exercises to be focused in the key of G. We will go through some modal stuff for G major. We'll go through a big scale to really get the feel of it. We'll also do a brief little palate cleanser in E minor, the relative minor for G major. This is the new format for videos, so if you want a particular FOC, hover over the timeline or head over to the, to the description, and then you can go directly to the FOC or vocal range that you identify with that you wish to work on today. I have consolidated a few FOCs in this video because of the way that the notes lay out on the piano. I'll explain that in those FOCs. Thanks! Hello Baritones, my name is Jeff Rolka. Thank you for checking out my video. I hope you found this all right. G major, we're all focused on G major. Again, a little dusting of E minor. At the very end is a little lemon sorbet palate cleanser, if you will. I'm not really gonna talk much at all. We're gonna begin with A and A. A, A, Going through five note scale versions of the modes. You, however, can begin down there, and... that could be getting a little bit on low side. If that's the case, just pause for a second and come back on in. We're not gonna go that low too much in this video. Uh, next up, A and O. A and O. And again, beginning here.
relief to get back to the tonic there. Okay. Beginning there, baritones. And. And now. And. You're an octave lower than me. think about the baritone and bass baritone fox and thinking about the intervallic requirements that uh, oftentimes you are tasked with. This isn't an exhaustive aspect of that practice, but just a little extra for the, uh, the baritones. Might, one might call it a bonus round. tones short but hopefully sweet thank you so much for watching my name is jeff take really good care of your voices enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again bye hello tenors and altos i have put your fox together in this video because of where G falls on the piano. And specifically, I'm talking about the G that's right below middle C. Some of the higher notes will be a little bit on the high side for the tenor range Fock. If you've got good registration event practice, it should be just fine. If you haven't done that yet, it may be that you wanna skip down an octave briefly or use the lip trill for those sections. Equally, alto range vocalists should actually find most of this pretty easy. I am gonna cover a lot of ground in the modal things in an effort to cover both Fox. 
Some alto range vocalists will have most of those lower notes. Some altos will not. So again, if it gets a little bit on the low side, just drop out for a second. All right, that's it. I hope you found this okay, because I am doing the new format. Well, let's have enough of the talk, shall we? Let's do some singing. And... It occurred to me that I should probably do the relative minors with these major tonalities. So, and and then.
in case, just in case, we're going to do this one. Not exactly inverted, but kind of. tenors and altos. I hope that that helps. Do let me know how you like this in the comments. As always, my name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye. Hello mezzos and hello sopranos. I have put you together in this G major warm-up that has a little dusting of E minor at the very end, just to kind of put those two together, the relative minor to the major tonality that we're in. I've put you together because much of your Fox overlap as it pertains to putting G at our tonal center. Now I'm specifically thinking about this G right here. Whoops. That G. Right there. We get to the next exercise, the second exercise, however, which is very linear. I'm going to play that in two hands, just on the odd chance that there are mezzos that are required to cover that range. I'll explain more once we get there. By way of getting started, we're going to start there. I'm going to show you here. And it's even conceivable that some mezzos may want to start there. So let's just do, I'll just do two hands on all this stuff. And.
next up. Now, sopranos, you'll, be, you'll most likely want to start there. Mezzos, you could really start in either location. If you were doing really high parts for some reason, you might start there. If you were doing a piece or a repertoire that requires you to be more or less at the bottom of your range, you can start there. Really versatile fock. And, and then and and then. and sopranos and As always, I do hope that helps. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.